Hello, my name is Danica Fife, and I'm the type of rider that likes to be prepared. Today, I'm going to be showing you what I take with me on my daily ride. This video is brought to you by Jensen USA. First, you have to pick out the method of transport. Either it's a backpack, a hip pack, or you find a way to secure your tools to your bike. Right now, I have the Camelback Women's Lux. I really enjoy this pack because it carries up to three liters, and so it's nice because I can bring it on all day epics. I really enjoy that there are lots of pockets and zippers, so I can be pretty organized. And most importantly, it's comfortable. It doesn't move a lot while riding, and it has a bunch of straps, so you can do a bunch of adjustments. Next up are the tools. So if you're going the minimalistic approach and you're only gonna carry around one tool, I recommend the Blackburn Wayside Tool. So this guy is really neat. One of my favorite features about it is that you can remove the Allen keys. If I can get one out, there you go. And so it's, it gives you pretty good torque when you're trying to get something done and it lets you get some great angles while doing trail side maintenance. Another thing I really like is that it has a pocket knife, which this has come in handy multiple times. Some other great features, it has a T25, it has an eight mil for pedals, and then also it has an empty chain breaker tool. I have kind of found this thing hard to use at some points because it requires a lot of finger strength, but I have been able to use it in a pinch. So if we take this thing out, with this tool, you can remove a valve core and it's a spoke wrench. Okay. Another one of my favorites is the Wolf Tooth Quick Link Plier. This is an awesome three for one tool because it's a tire lever. It holds quick links right here. And then also it works as a quick link plier. So it's really nice when I need to remove my chain and I don't want to break a link. It's really easy and simple and it has come in handy multiple times on the trail for me. Next up is a hand pump and tube. Tubeless setups, flats aren't too common, but they still happen. And it's not the funnest thing to be hiking out of the woods five miles, trust me, I know. This is the Lazine pump. And this is really nice because you're able to screw this off, screw this on the valve, and then screw it back onto the pump body, and then pump. I carry the Tubolito S Tubo MTB tube because this guy is way lighter than a normal tube. This is weighs in at 45 grams compared to a normal tube that's around 200 grams. I choose to have this lighter tube in my pack because I carry around a tube for like a year waiting to use it. And so it's nice that I can carry around something a little bit lighter. So next up is the tool that you didn't think that you needed. And I say this because you're never gonna be walking out of the woods if you don't have this tool, but it is a tool I use almost every day. So this is the SKS Air Checker. And I check my air pressure quite often because so many people spend a lot of money on suspension, but air is free. And so I usually try to keep my air pressure in such a way that I don't bang up my rims, but I also have it low enough that I have a comfortable and traction filled ride. This has a head for both types of valves and also every pump reads differently, so this gives you accurate readings. Last but not least is snacks. It's not a tool, but it is essential. I enjoy Scratch Labs because I actually understand the ingredients and also I feel good after. If you don't bring snacks on your ride, then you should start because I promise it makes you feel way better if you're going up or down. Thanks for watching. What are some of the must haves in the pack? Did I miss anything? Leave your comments below. Now I hope you go and find some flow.